what happens at death where does the soul go how long does it take for the soul to go from one body to another body will my soul come back to me and the same soul will be reincarnated what about the body will the body after it is buried be resurrected into the skies there are so many questions many of them lies what is the time it takes for us to go from death to rebirth we are blinking because we don't know the right answers we need realization and to realize the truth we have to accept the fact that death is certain the body will die will anybody in this world deny the death of the body and we have to accept the fact that birth is certain we were born did you decide your birth how you came to earth your parents your gender your nationality no there is birth which is a reality there is death which is a certainty and there is the law of karma the law of karma states that if there are if there is coconut tree you will get coconuts not jackfruits because the seed you plant will decide the fruit on the tree so if you find coconuts on the tree it's a coconut tree because of the seed this is a law as you sow so shall you reap so along with death and birth the third certainty is the law of karma the law of action and reaction now we have to realize that just like in the ocean the waves the waves come and the waves go the reality is that we too we will come and we will go and the wave will keep on splashing on the beach again and again and again and again but we are not sure about our death and our birth or rebirth we are not sure about the condition of the soul we have no idea what is the soul so let us go step by step do we deny our conception that we were not born on our birthday we were born 9 months before when two cells fertilized and became a zygote did man and woman do that the act was done by man and woman but was the fertilization the choice of us human beings no it's a divine interception which means the spark of life comes into those two cells that become one that become a new life it is a spark of unique life s o u l the soul soul in me is different from the soul in you although both the souls come from the same power they come from the same power the power of sit the supreme immortal power and at death they go back into the supreme immortal power so it's very important to understand birth birth actually happens 9 months before the arrival day we call birth day and it happens when the spark of life gives us life then we grow up we eat pasta and pizza and the body becomes big body and then one day we will die we leave this body people say we passed away who passed away we only know of two things one the entity of this body and two the soul that spark that came alive at that we are sure that spark left if that spark did not leave with a will our family burn our body will they cremate our body or bury our body no it is because we left the body people say we passed away the body is here but we are not the body the body was formed in the 9 months in my mother's womb the body is not me i came alive 9 months before as the soul the spark and at death i leave as the spark now what happens to that spark where does it go the soul the soul merges with the air that is everywhere if i take a balloon and i blow a balloon where does the air come from the air came from the air that is everywhere and if i leave the air out of the balloon the air merges with the air everywhere the power of the supreme is everywhere and the soul merges with the universal power which is omnipresent therefore don't think that my soul will come back in the rebirth as my soul no the power in me is like the power in your house we you switch on the bulb the power comes we switch off the bulb the power goes when you switch on the bulb the same power doesn't come the power is running through all the gadgets through all the wires and so the soul power is everywhere when we are dead the soul power leaves 
And when we are born, the soul power comes. It becomes a spark of unique life. And as long as we are ignorant that we are this soul, the spark of unique life, we create karma. And to settle this karma, we have to come back to earth in the rebirth. Therefore, when the body dies, our karma has to be settled. To settle this karma, we are reborn. And this goes on and on. Who is reborn? The one who was ignorant, me, the mind and ego, which is actually non-existent, but because of ignorance, me, the mind and ego, carries karma and comes back to earth in a rebirth, when a spark of unique life gives its life. Where would we be born? How would we be born? Depends on karma. Karma controls everything. Therefore, we have to understand the reality of death. We have to understand the reality of birth and the reality of karma. When we join the dots, we come to the realization that the soul is not your soul and my soul. It is my soul as long as it's inside me, but the moment at death when the soul leaves, it becomes part of Sip, the supreme immortal power. At birth, it comes as a fresh spark of unique life. What is happening in our life is all karma, karma, karma. And then we have a choice of doing what we want to do. We have a free will. We create new karma. One day, we will die. And when we die one day, the body will die. And if we are enlightened that we are that soul, the spark of unique life, then there is no karma. We don't come back. We are liberated and united. How long does it take for the soul to leave the body? Flash. We know how a person dies in a flash. Where does the soul go? It becomes one with the Supreme. How does birth happen? The same power from the Supreme comes as a spark in a moment, in a flash. Therefore, we are not supposed to try to dig into this more deeper because it is beyond our comprehension. We know this much. We know about birth, we know about death, we know about karma. This is what is relevant for us to live, to do good karma. So if we die, we are reborn with good karma in a good life. And better still, to realize we are the soul, then there is no karma, then there is no rebirth. Don't believe in the stories that the soul, when we die, the soul will be hovering for 13 days until we do some ceremonies and pujas. The soul will be a ghost. These are lies. Lies like God lives in the skies. No, God is the soul inside you and me. God is Sip, the supreme immortal power. God is everywhere, in everything. But when we realize the truth of birth, of death, of karma, we can be enlightened. We can be liberated. We can be united. We can be free from the suffering of the body, mind, ego. Free from all suffering on earth and free from rebirth. But first we must realize the truth.